Capricorn. Welcome to your monthly reading. This is for June. Um, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. I'm starting off with the Sacred Forest Oracle, and then I will lay down the Light Seer's Tarot, clarified by the Witch's Tarot. And of course, in closing, I'll take another Oracle and a Rune. Let's just dive into your reading, Capricorn, and see um, what spirit has for Capricorn for the month of June. And if you want... Um, a, a more in-depth reading, you can also check your moon and ascendant signs as well. Or perhaps this is your moon or ascendant. And you are checking your sun, moon, and ascendant. Let's um, see what Spirit has, please, for Capricorn. Thank you so much, Spirit. What do we have for Capricorn for the month of June, please? What? Does Capricorn need to know? Okay. Our first card out. Thicket of Thorns. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Hmm. Okay. Let's um, read a small portion of that out of the book here and see what it has. The spirit of the Thicket of Thorns says, Timing is everything. Let go of the struggle you'll gain great rewards. Are you struggling? Um, there's another little reading here. You have found yourself in a thick briar patch. When you try to go forward, the branches entangle you. When you attempt to go back, thorns prevent your movement. No matter what direction you try, there are blockages. To move causes pain from the long, sharp thorns. Stop struggling. Stop moving. Breathe. Relax. And magically, the thicket opens to reveal a sparkling path out. Mm, I like that. Let go of the struggle. Um, let go of the need to control and allow for that flow. What's up? Lay down the tarot and see what the tarot has to say here. Wow. I'm sorry, it's bunches of cards. If there were one card or two cards, I might take them, but to have all those, no. Let's, um, Spirit gets you just got What do we have, Spirit? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, we have death, rebirth. Wow. Well, Right out the gate here with death and rebirth. Um, you've been struggling. Perhaps this breakthrough is coming through as you relax and let go. The rebirth happens. The transformation happens. And the Four of Wands. Oh, yes. Um, secure foundations. Joy, happiness. Look at them dancing, celebrating. Six of Cups. I love this one man and his dog and he's thinking back and remembering when they were both very young it has a nostalgic feel to it um fond memories maybe there's somebody from the past coming in or um, somebody you've been thinking about Queen of Pentacles. Very confident, abundant, secure. Hmm. Is that someone coming in? Um, or perhaps that's you need to step into that power for yourself.
and the Page of Wands. Hmm. Um, okay. There's a sense of adventure. Um, hmm. Let's just keep going. We'll, we'll clarify with the Witch's Tarot. The moon. Doing that inner reflection, that inner work. That inner healing, discovering who you really are, um, addressing the shadows um, and bringing them out into the light. Um, they help make up who you are. Do not deny them. Embrace them. Incorporate them. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Passionate, adventurous. The Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands. There is some sort of adventure. Um, I'm going to move these over a little bit. I have this bump in my table right here. There we go. The King of Cups. I like this King of Cups. He is um, very peaceful, calm, quiet. He radiates. The peaceful energy. Um, tap into that. You see that? One more card, please, Spirit. One more card. Is that one? That's two. All right. We'll keep them up. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Hmm. That's interesting. A bit of sadness there. Maybe you've been feeling sad over something, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck. Are you stuck? <laughs> Let go and allow the universe to work on your behalf. Let's see. I like this here. Um, we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. They're both very peaceful, very in touch with their intuition, their emotions. They're very compassionate and supportive. And this Emperor is a, um, he's a powerful force. Um, perhaps you need to step into that power. Hmm. Not sure yet where that's going. Let's let's just let's clarify this death up here. It's a death card. I like this death card. The um, possibilities here. Looking out into the cosmos, there's no face there. It's endless possibility. As you let go and release, what are you rebirthing? Page of Wands. Page of Wands again with that. Perhaps this is the start of a new adventure for you. Um, the beginning of uh, another advent ad an adventurous journey. Um, a passionate journey. 
Perhaps this is an offer coming in for you to move in a direction that um, you're very passionate about. And we have the Nine of Swords here. This worry. Um, perhaps spending too much time in your head. Um, thinking too much, analyzing too much. Balance your energies, um, your intellect with your intuition. And making um, decisions, choices. Because um, you have this offer coming in, perhaps you're a little too much in your head about it. And look, the star, the new hope, wishes and dreams fulfilled. What, what's the dream for you? What, what are your wishes, your hopes, your desires? Um, get in touch with that. This looks to me like there is a new direction for you to move in that is more heartfelt, more passionate. It's something um, more desirable to you. But you have a tendency here to get caught up in your head, um, analyzing, assessing, just continually working things over in your in your head rather than getting in touch with that inner voice that heartfelt guidance less time in the head and more time in your heart and intuition because we have the four of wands here which is um security blessings joy and happiness six of pentacles you know creating that balance um keeping your energies balanced a balanced give and take uh balancing between your analytical mind and your intuition, balancing in relationships, in your home life, your work life, making sure the energies around you are reciprocal, that there's an equal give and take, that there is a balance in all aspects, all areas of your life as you move forward. And that will help keep you in alignment the page of swords yeah there are um messages coming in opportunities coming in when we create balance in our lives we become more aware of those opportunities those opportunities are free to come into us and reveal themselves to us because we're not closed off in areas And the Five of Swords. Make sure that you are um, honest and that everything being um, in your relationships, um, in your life, you are taking an honest look at it. You are being honest and not um, deceiving yourself in any way. And you're being open and honest with others. Again, this goes back to that reciprocal energy, that balanced give and take. 
You want your relationships to be balanced and give and take. And you also want honesty, openness on both, um, with both parties. We have the Six of Cups, which is um, nostalgic. It's, um, it can symbolize harmony. Let's balance. Here we are with the moon again. Um, again with the moon. Doing that inner work, that inner growth, that inner reflection. Taking the time to go within. Uh, do not leave unresolved issues unresolved. Face them head on. Don't be afraid of them. Uh, shed some light on them and deal with them. Oh, look at the Ten of Pentacles. Success, abundance, happy home life. It is there for you. Continue to do the work. The inner work. Continue to work on yourself. Um, and work on keeping balance. And we have the Ten of Swords. Put an end to those things that are causing you harm. Let them go. Step into your power. As Queen of Pentacles here. She is at peace. She is secure, confident, abundant. She's a nurturer too. And we have the Knight of Swords. She's taking action when you need to take action. The tower making the changes that you need to make when you need to make them. Taking that action, implementing those changes. Doing that inner work. I believe these are changes happening within you, Capricorn. Aha moments, inspirations, um, epiphanies. Realizations coming in for you as you go within and do this inner work as you let go of things and are rebirthed. Following your dreams. You have setting yourself free from that entrapment, that self-imposed prison, that feeling of being stuck. Going out, taking that step forward into the adventure. Look at her, she, she looks liberated. She's been set free. She's joyous, ecstatic. Look at the energy there. And we have the strength, yeah. Tap into that inner strength. You have the strength you need. You may not realize that right now, but you have the strength you need to do the inner work, do the healing, set yourself free. Temperance, be patient. Be patient, be kind to yourself. Concentrate on that balance. And keeping it balanced. Um, focus on your healing, your well-being. Um, nurturing and balancing your life and be patient with yourself you are uh, moving in the right direction healing is always in our best interest and the knight of pentacles <sighs> yeah um Slow and steady wins the race. Keep moving forward. Be patient. 
Put the work in. Put the work in. Merge the shadow and the light. Get in touch with who you truly are. Go within. Face your shadows. Your fears, what are they? What keeps you stuck? What is it that makes you feel uh, trapped? What aren't you addressing? What do you need to address about yourself? What do you need to embrace and accept about yourself? The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Um, that new passionate beginning. This is an opportunity for a more passionate beginning start, uh, starting something new that you're very passionate about. Notice the butterfly, indicative of transformation. What else do we have here, please, for Capricorn? The Ten of Wands, lay down your heavy burden. Um, yeah, the castle's in sight. You've done all this inner work, made all these changes, um, addressed the shadow, done this inner work, taken action. You're almost to the end of the journey here. It's time to lay down that heavy burden, whatever burden you've been carrying. Um, it's time to put it down. Hmm. Yeah, feeling um, desolate, perhaps, isolated, but the resources are there for you. You do have resources available to you. Do not deceive yourself into believing that you are less than you are. Uh, that you're unable to create the success you wish to create in your life. You have the ability, the strength, tap into that inner strength, do the inner work, make the necessary changes, address the issues, tap into your resources. We have this Knight of Wands, this passionate, fiery energy here. She's happy. She's smiling, playing her drum. We have the horse in the background rearing up. Um, there's a sense of freedom also of stability here with the four wands. That's also um, a divine number, the 1111 11 here. The 11, 11. Spirit is watching over you. You're on the right path. Ten of Cups, fulfillment, joy, happiness. Ten of Cups, I love it. Great card. Uh, it ha everything is in this card. Your abundance, your success, your happy home life. Oops. What else do we have here, please, for this Nine of Wands, this passionate, adventurous offer, this opportunity, this endeavor, the Five of Wands. Wow. 
A lot of up and down energy here. I feel like um, you're, you're struggling a lot. And there's a lot of inward struggle going on. Um... It just seems like you are fighting this constant battle, overcoming these obstacles, having to address these issues. Just know, Capricorn, that in the long run, this will pay off. Your success is there. It's always worth it to take the time to do that inner healing. And as you do the inner healing and you make the changes that you need to make, set the boundaries that you need to set, create the balance in your life, there will be people around you who won't like it. They won't like it because they're losing control. They're not used to this new you. But you need to tap into that inner strength and defeat any obstacles, any interference coming from outside people or situations, anything that arises. You got this, Capricorn. And the death card again. Allow the transformation Allow the transformation, the rebirth. Step into the peace, the calm. The magician, you have everything you need everything, all the tools that you need to create the magic you're seeking to create. As above, so below, it is there for you. Things are in alignment, spiritually, physically. It's all there for you. Tap it into your resources. Utilize those tools that are there for you. Put in the hard work, pay attention to the details, be diligent. The Nine of Cups, that fulfillment is yours. That fulfillment is yours. Your wishes are granted, everything you want is there for you. We have the Emperor here. The power. Step into your power. The Six of Cups again, just like up here. Get in touch with that um, playfulness, that inner child energy. Um, Mm. As you work through the unresolved issues, do the inner work and the healing that you need to do. Remember the positive. Take the time for play along the way. The Emperor again. Look at that. Step into your power. Look at him. Sitting in, I mean, he watches over his children, his land. He is a very powerful force. He's created the life that he wants, and he watches over and protects that. Step into this peace, this, your intuition. And 
and things, there's movement, things are falling into place for you. Doing that healing work, setting yourself free from those things that hinder you, doing the healing, that inner work. This is just, this is going to be a really important month for you, Capricorn, on going through this inner healing. It is um, bringing in a substantial, phenomenal change for you. The hanged man, don't resist it. Don't resist it. Take the time out, allow for things to flow. Surrender to the process. Yeah, Queen of Cups again. Tapping into that. Uh, she's peaceful. She's in touch with her intuition, her emotions, but she's also well grounded. Well grounded. She's a um, compassionate and understanding person. Step into that. I'm going to pull an oracle now and close. Let's What do we have in closing for Capricorn? Success. Success. Nice. And the success card says, the spirit of the secret spring says, success is flowing into your life. Vitality and a glowing youthful renewal of your body are occurring. Now is the time to take action in support of your dreams. There's no need to struggle. The universe has your back. Trust the universe, trust. Let's take a rune now. Our rune is Jera. And this has to do with the harvest, uh, abundance, prosperity. All right, Capricorn, look at that. Your success, your abundance, your prosperity is coming in for you. You are being blessed. As you go through this transformational process, doing this work, keep that in mind. The success is there for you. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Um, have a blessed month. If you like the reading, hit the like button. To subscribe, hit subscribe. If you wish to be notified of your future readings, hit that notification bell. I welcome all of your interaction and your comments. They help promote the channel, so I really do appreciate those. Thank you so much.